Laws are what? Are always constant. Laws are what? Are reliable. Laws are what? Are dependable. You know, out of the three laws, physical law, how many laws? Three laws. Out of the physical law, spiritual law, and nature of nature, the highest is what? Spiritual laws. The highest is spiritual laws. You know, so let me, let me read this to you. Satan is a spiritual being. The mind deals with the physical law. The body is the law of nature. The spirit deals with laws of spirit. Satan is a spiritual being. He does not want the church to know that the spirit controls the physical. The spiritual law are higher than all this law and they control the physical law and the nature of nature. The Bible was written so that we may have access to the laws of the spirit. So that we can understand the laws of the spirit. That is why the devil hates the Bible. He hates the word of God. He does not want you to understand the spiritual law so he can control and keep you in bondage. Jesus came to teach us the laws of the spirit. That is why he said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall what? Shall set you free. The laws, out of the laws of the spirit, the highest one is the laws of faith. Let's read Romans 3, 27. You can give this version, put it there. See, laws are reliable. Everyone say, laws are what? Reliable. They are constant, they are dependable, they are what? They are trustworthy. A plane will fly in Dubai. A plane will fly in Nigeria. A plane will fly everywhere because it's obeying what? Laws. Now give me Romans. Put it there. Romans 3, 27. Let us see. We are his boasting then. It is excluded by what law of wars? Or by the law of faith? Everyone say law of faith. Everyone say law of faith. Can I hear you can say law of faith? Can I hear you can say law of faith? So faith oppressed by faith is what? Is a law. That means that faith is reliable. It's constant. It oppresses everywhere. That's why we said faith is a universal what? Currency. It can work anywhere. I use my faith in England, I use it in Nigeria, I use it in Dubai, I use it in Dominos, I use it in South Africa. Faith is a universal what? Currency. It is trustworthy, it is reliable, it is dependable, and it's constant. Ladies and gentlemen, the law of faith. The law of what? Faith. And that's why the song they sang this morning, that it cannot fail. You see, as long as you are in faith, it cannot fail. Because God cannot deny himself. God cannot deny, as long as you are in faith, things cannot fail. If you are out of faith, then you may fail, but God cannot fail. Ladies and gentlemen, faith is a law. The law of faith. God is constant. God is reliable. I mean, the law of faith is constant. As long as you walk by faith, you will get the answer. And that is the, that's what the kingdom is all about. And how does faith come? Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by what? By the word of God. First John 4, it says, Five voices, and this is the victory that overcomes the world. Even what? Our faith. Ladies and gentlemen, the only way to overcome this world is what? Is by faith. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world. What does what overcomes the world? By faith. If you want to, faith overcomes the world. If you want to overcome in this world, then live by faith. See, the, Satan can't undo faith. It's above him. Hallelujah. Satan cannot what? Undo faith. It is what? It's above him. Everything in the kingdom is by faith. That is why without faith, it is impossible to who? To please God. He that must come to God must believe that he is. And is the reward of them that diligently what? Seek him. Hebrews eleven six. 6. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Because in the kingdom of God, the currency is faith. Healing is by faith. Blessing is by faith. Protection is by faith. Ladies and gentlemen, everything you do in the kingdom of God is what? Is by faith. So tell you about use your faith. You see, your faith will change your destiny. God has given you faith so that you can overcome the world. God has given you faith so that you can destroy the works of Satan. And Bible says, and taking the shield of faith, Ephesians 6, 11, 10, so that you can quench all the fiery darts of the enemy. When you stay in faith, no matter the arrow Satan throws at you, you will, you will overcome it. You will not fail anymore. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, when men refuse to help you, you will live by faith. Faith will work. Faith works in Canada. It works in Europe. It works in Asia. It works in India. It works everywhere. When you understand the principle of faith, it will work. So this morning, for a few for the last, next, we'll continue next week, but the last few minutes, I'm just going to put to you quickly, 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 the ABCD of faith. I'm not going to explain it today. The ABCD of faith. And that is what I want to see, see put to you. A is what? A. The ABC, how does the principle of how does it work? A, B, C, D. A means acquire the word. Everybody say acquire the word. 
A means acquire the word. Because faith is based on the word of God. That's why the devil doesn't want you to read the Bible. Many of you are looking for money. Why should you be looking for faith? Because you can't have enough money, but you can have faith to do what you need to do. When you have faith, faith will bring money to you. Hallelujah. So, faith comes by, the first faith is always based on the word of God. So, if you don't know the Bible, you can't have faith. If you don't spend much time in the Bible, you can't have faith. If you are not the parents that read the word, you cannot what? Have faith. Believe the word. I said, believe the word. When you've known, if you acquire the word, the B is what? Believe the word. I will explain more about that. B is what? Believe the word. You believe what you have read. You demonstrate it. And then C means, see, because, you see, there's a difference between what, let me tell you about believing the word. Believing the word. When you, when you read the Bible, the first thing is that it, gets, it enters your head, but not your heart. When you read, it enters your head, not your heart. How do you get it from your head to your heart? By, when you believe, how do you get it? By meditating the word. Hallelujah. By what? Meditating the word. Those who don't meditate the word can't have faith. So, you just have had faith. For it to get into your heart, because the law of faith is Mark eleven twenty three. If you speak to this mountain, be that river, cast the sea, and shall not doubt in your heart, you shall have whatsoever you say. Mark eleven twenty three. That's the law of faith. So, he says, if you don't doubt in your heart, how does faith get into your heart? When you what? Meditate the word. Meditate the word. Be removed and be cast into the sea. It says, you shall not... You see, it says, if you speak, faith is released when you speak. Hallelujah. So when you, when you, when you acquire the word, what, what is two? You what? You believe the word. The two is what? Believe the word. B is believe the word. C is confess the word. Everyone say confess the word. So you speak the word. You confess the word. You speak it. Until you speak it, nothing happens. Until you speak it, nothing what? Nothing happens. He says, you have, says, 2 Corinthians 4, 4 says, I believe, therefore I have spoken. I have spoken, therefore I believe. If you, don't, if you believe something really, you will say it out. You don't be shy. Your faith is not released until you speak. Your faith is not released until what? Until you speak. C is you speak the word. It says, if you will say to this mountain, be removed. Let me shock you. God says, say to the mountain, be removed. Many of us are saying to God, you are begging God, God, uh, remove this for me. God, remove that for me. God, he says, speak to it. You are begging God. I mean, he says, God, you are God, God says, speak to the mountain. But you are not speaking to the mountain. You are, you, God says, speak to the problem. You are speaking to God about the problem. God says, speak to the problem. Curse it in the name of Jesus. Speak to it in the name of Jesus. Speak to the arthritis. Speak to the pain. Speak to that situation. You speak to it. You curse them. You command them to leave your body. Leave your home. Speak to that bank account. Speak to your family. Say, so, Satan, you cannot enter here. You don't speak to God. God says, speak to the mountain. Why? Because like, Proverbs 18, 21 says, life and death and the power of what? Of the tongue. If you, want so, if you don't want something in your life, cost it, use your tongue to cost it. Say it, it's time, enough is enough. I said that here some years ago. Mama here was here. She had worked glass for several years. They couldn't find high to her. She said, Pastor, you said, if I don't like anything, I should cost them. I went to the house and, and said, I don't want this high problem, but I cost it in Jesus' name. You cannot see in my eyes. Since that day, she doesn't wear glasses anymore. The pain left. There's something you've been tolerating you need to cost this morning. Enough is ever say enough is enough. But we are not there. D is what? Do the word. Demonstrate the word. Hallelujah. D is what? Demonstrate the word. I'm going to build on that next week. D is what? Demonstrate the word. You've got to demonstrate what you believe. You've got to show. And there must be an evidence. If you believe something, you've got to say it out. You've got to say that. And then you've got to do something to show you believe. And he is expressed thanksgiving. He is expressed what? Thanksgiving. A, B, C, D, E. You need to thank God. Thank God I know he's on. F, forgive. Hallelujah. F is what? Forgive. Some people, their faith is not working because they live in unforgiveness. You are fighting with everybody in the fellowship. Fighting with everybody in your office. You have your uncle, your, 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 your mother-in-law, you've not forgiven him. Your faith won't work. You have little faith. Oh, come on. You've got to forgive. Your brother, he said, you know what they said to me 10 years ago? You've not forgiven. That's why your faith is not working. F is forgive. S E is transgiving, express, you need to express transgiving publicly. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done. You know, your faith can change your destiny. You see, uh, with the law of faith, how do we apply it? 
as I close this morning, I've seen God do great things. I've seen God do great things. You know, you've got to, you've got to, you've got, you've got to, you've got to allow God to do great things in your life. You've got to allow God to do great things in your life. Let me say this. Moses' mother, just, I've done in three minutes. Moses' mother, when Moses was born, perhaps by faith, Moses' mother refused to throw their child. They were believing God for a child. Eventually that child came. And there has been a law that if it's a son, they should kill it. People were killing their son, but that woman used their faith. Because it has happened to everybody, that woman says, no, God will cause something to happen to me. Faith, people usually say how that God will cause something to what? To happen to them. Say, no, it will not happen to me. I reject it. Everybody, even if they have a son, they throw it to the body, say, I'm not going to throw my baby to the Nile. Don't throw your dreams to the Nile. Hallelujah. Because there's an issue. It doesn't mean you throw it out. says, no, I will not throw it. I will not. I will not accept it. Eventually, she had a boy. Everyone said, oh, very sad. He's a boy. He's a boy. Go and throw your baby to the night. He said, no, I won't. God is going to do something for me. What is happening to everybody doesn't have to happen to you, ladies and gentlemen. Nigeria may be going down. We are not going down. We are people of the kingdom. We are not going down. We are people of the kingdom. Things will work for us. That woman refused. After some time, she kept the baby. She didn't refuse. She said, God, I know. I believe God. Please don't give up your faith. She didn't give up. For three months, God tested her faith. God will test your faith. God will prove your faith. Three months, her faith was tested. Still, nothing happened. At the end of the tournament, the people in the, the, people in the village came and said, no, 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 you can't put this boy here. You get us into trouble. So they pushed her outside. But she kept on believing. They said, go and throw it. Instead of throwing, she kept it. She would, keep, she would take the baby there in the morning because she was standing. Ladies and gentlemen, when you are standing in faith, Satan will try you. But you've got to keep on standing, keep on standing, keep on standing. Finally, one evening, one morning, the, the princess came because somebody was believing. The princess came and said, I want to take a bath in, in, in the river. How can the princess leave the bath, palace and come and take a bath in the river? But you see, when you are standing in faith, God will cause strange things to go in your favor. Hallelujah. This week, strange things will come in your favor. Your covenant helpers will locate you. Your covenant helpers will come. Your destiny helper will locate you because you are standing in faith. That woman was standing in faith. Her destiny helper showed up. And then he saw the immediately he saw the star ran away, brrr, carry the baby. Say, Oh, this is my baby. This is my baby. Oh, he says, Oh, what a beautiful baby. People thought she was going to throw him to the Nile. No, she carried the baby and took the baby. And as she was going, she started came back and said, Bra, 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 bra. Your Excellency, ma. Your Excellency, ma. This girl, this boy, I don't know whether you need somebody to help him. And then he says, yeah, 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 I need somebody to help me nurse the baby because he cannot, she cannot carry it to the palace yet. And then she went, called her mother, and then she gave birth and gave her to her mother. And that woman, her faith changed her destiny. Number one, everybody lost their child. She did not lose her child. You will not lose your child. Everybody will die of corona or anything that shows up. It will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. number two, she now, not only did she, she did not lose her child, number two, she was being paid. For raising our own child. Being paid for raising our own child. Ladies and gentlemen, this year God will surprise you. <laughs> when you begin to use your talent, God will you'll be paid in Jesus' name. From an unexpected source, money will come to you. Money will come to you. Help will come to you. This woman, because she used her faith. Number three, she was no longer a slave. Hallelujah. Hey, her status changed. This year, somebody's status is changing. <laughs> You may be living down, down, down somewhere. God is moving you upward. Hey, God will open new doors for you. God will open great doors for you. In the name of Jesus. This woman became a VIP because she was, she was now walking with kings and priests. That will be your story in the name of Jesus. She, became a, she can now go to the palace free of charge. She was sitting. When, when children of kings are having bad day, she will be there. She was having fruit food. She was no longer a slave. God changed her whole story, her whole destiny. Faith can change your destiny, ladies and gentlemen. This year, change faith to change your destiny. Your faith to change your destiny. Your faith to change your level. You are going to a higher level. Open doors, open opportunities in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I say this, God said to me, as I close my eyes, he says, if the faith of that woman could work in the Old Testament, in the Old Covenant, how much more your faith? Their situation was not as bad as what it was. Nobody here is a slave, but faith changed it. So no matter what situation you are, your faith is taking you to another level. 
Let's take it to another level. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ.